Uh, my name is Natasha Bacht, and I am a dancer and a choreographer. I have trained in Bharatanatyam, which is a South Indian classical dance form, and now I do mainly Indian contemporary dance. Okay. I know today's event is uh, from Can Asian International Dance Festival. Mm -hmm. Are you one of the uh, dancer and choreographer from uh, Can Asian? Um, I'm actually an independent choreographer, oh, and okay. the Can Asian Dance Festival commissioned me to create a piece uh, for this festival of theirs. Oh, okay. How do you think of the festival? I think the festival is great, and I think this is a wonderful idea to bring dances into the Royal Ontario Museum. Um, it's a nice way to kind of challenge choreographers to work in spaces outside of the usual theaters. I think so. And um, it's also, I think, nice for audiences. You know, we get audiences who come to see dance, of course, but also people who just happen to be ro roaming around through the museum yeah. <laughs> and they come upon a dance. And I think that's uh, quite a lovely experience. Can you tell us about the, like, the dance? Sure. My dancers are um, dancing in the Earth's Treasures Gallery, uh -huh. which is the gallery with all of the gems and minerals and crystals. And um, I have the dancers dancing in two of the six corridors of this gallery. Mm -hmm. And I kind of imagined the gallery as the Earth's Treasures, um, the hidden treasures. And the dancers are these creatures who protect the treasures. So. Uh -huh. Um, it's uh, the audience can come in and enjoy the treasures and enjoy the gems, um, but the idea is that they must be aware that if they are to try and take the treasures, these guardians of the treasures will uh, will probably give them a hard time. You did a very great job. Thank you for your time, Natasha. Thanks I so hope much. To see your next piece. Thanks, I really okay, appreciate thank it. You. Okay, thanks. Amazing performance, but can you tell us more about this event? Yeah, well the whole idea is that ancient inspiration brings contemporary in interpretation. Mm -hmm. Today we've seen Korean traditional dance, yep. Bharatanatyam, and mm -hmm. also some martial arts from China, yeah. but mm -hmm. all in the environment in which mm -hmm. the inspired choreographer worked and bringing them into a very contemporary place physically and uh, choreographically. Oh, so okay. Moving Dragon, who's here this weekend from mm -hmm. Vancouver, did a fantastic interpretation using martial art and contemporary yeah. work mm -hmm. at the opening gates of the Ming tomb. Mm -hmm. And then here, it, we're in the Inco uh, Vale Inco Gem Gallery. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Natasha Bacht, whose background is Bharatanatyam, mm -hmm. you had two dancers from Sampradaya Dance Creations okay. really work in a contemporary way, just with the whole, even the staging of it in this gallery, which was yeah. very uh, linear and yeah. then brought into just like the mirroring and inspiration of the mm -hmm. uh, juxtaposing of gems <laughs> and how they interact and hold their shape. It's fabulous, so yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah, and it's all with the uh, original music. Mm -hmm. With contemporary yeah. ensembles, so it's That's fantastic. Very amazing. Yeah. yeah, and uh, I know you're from the board of uh, Can Asian International Dance. Can you briefly introduce this? Um organization to us? Well, we've been in existence since 1997 and okay. we do on odd years, we do a major festival in theaters. Mm -hmm. We do oh. interesting programming that brings it out into the community in a way that isn't a formal theatrical setting. So oh, okay. um, we're in one of those years and it was a fabulous idea of our artistic director, Denise Fujiwara, mm -hmm. to uh, partner with the ROM and thanks to the ROM for making it happen and all the hard work from the Can Asian mm -hmm volunteers and board. Yeah, I think everyone contributes to this event in order to make it um, better and better. Absolutely. Yeah, I hope to see you guys to come up like other events that are um, as successful as today. Oh, thank you. We will. Okay. We'll thank make it happen. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Jess. Thank you. 不知道大家会不会跟我一样觉得这个亚洲舞蹈节很特别呢
多伦多国际龙舟节是我们多伦多华人社区一年一度的盛事。不过，大家现在看到的不是正式的龙舟节，而是为龙舟节揭幕的点睛仪式。这个传统的开关仪式是要将沉睡中的龙舟唤醒，并为龙舟及健儿们祈求平安及祝福。虽然仪式当天风比较大，但大家都是非常兴奋的，因为大家都是笑容满脸。呃，各位观众你好，啊、呃，我叫翁德祥 ，Alex Wong， 我是多伦多华商会的啊、呃、，Third Vice President。哦。啊，我在这个华商会参与了都起码有十年的时间了。哦。龙舟节是我们华商会的。一个最主要的活动，所以我们所有的这个会董啊，都是大家都要都要同心合力的，一起来办好这个事。能不能给我们就是介绍一下，就是华商会怎么开始，就是想到做龙舟节这个活动呢？因为想，嗯、呃，带出这个龙舟节，呃，一个历史。当时龙舟节那个那个呃 d r a g o n b o a t 也是一种运动，这种运动在开始的时候呢，并不是很这个时候很大型的运动，呃，起码就是开始的时候只有，我相信当初啊只有大概十队不到二十队左右吧，那后来慢慢慢慢的增加，就演变成今天这么大型的一个。活动对，我可以讲呢，我们可以讲，这是现在啊、呃，我们的这这种活动是已经成为一种叫做国际性的活动了。确实是，特别是在加拿大的这个地方。对，在加拿大呢，我们的这个龙舟节是最大的。那么我知道今年呢，就已经是第二十二个年头。那么能不能跟我们讲一下，今年的那个龙舟节跟往年的龙舟节有没有什么不一样呢？希望能够今年呢，可以做多点活动。呃，这些活动包括有啊、呃，有一些话剧啊，啊，小型的博物馆，在这个博这这个这个小型的博物馆里面呢，我们啊、呃、有一些那个那个照片啊，这是比较有历史性的照片。啊，是啊。对啊，其实我们也要骄傲，我们中国人呢在。多伦多也有蛮大的一个一个社区，对对对，啊，但是我们也利用这个机会呢，将这个历史呢，就是带领给大家多了解一点。我们也要啊，也要鼓励，我要鼓励所有，并不是华人，其他的话就都是来，就让他们多认识我们中国文化。当然啦、啊。好，那我们希望呢，这一届的龙舟节呢，可以跟往年一样那么的成功。谢谢你 ，Alex。谢谢，谢谢，谢谢。谢谢